Understanding what will happen to your out-of-state driver's license when you have been charged with a DUI in Georgia can be very tricky to navigate. The reason being is that while it is quite easy uh, for Georgia to track and um, penalize Georgia drivers when they've been arrested for a DUI, including imposing either a 30-day or a year-long suspension, it gets a little bit more tricky when you have an out-of-state driver's license. Now don't think just because you don't have a Georgia driver's license you're going to dodge a bullet because you may still be in the crosshairs. And that is because of the way that the states interact with one another when it comes to reporting these kinds of arrests and finally convictions. And the way it typically works with an out-of-state license is that if you are convicted of a traffic offense, once your case is closed, it's a pretty straightforward process where Georgia will, the court, uh, where you close your case, will notify, send a notice to your home state indicating that you have been convicted of a specific traffic offense. So you will likely, after uh, entering a guilty plea or being convicted at trial, or even in some cases entering a no low plea, you will receive a notification uh, from your home state indicating any consequences, if there are any. Um, you may want to make sure that you proactively check uh, your driving record in your home state in case you don't receive a notice or you've changed your address. So that is the easy scenario where you can in some ways anticipate the consequences. But it's not always easy when you've been arrested for a DUI and uh, there are license consequences in Georgia if you've refused the state's breath or blood or urine test. You may be worried about what's going to happen next with your license. And the problem is that sometimes can vary on a state-by-state -state basis. Now, if you receive um, a, a license suspension in Georgia, Georgia only has the authority to suspend your Georgia driving privileges. So for instance, if you have a New York driver's license, Georgia does not have the authority to suspend the entire license. Um, but they can say that you're no longer allowed to operate a moving vehicle in Georgia. How does New York find out if you have a refusal suspension? Well, chances are good that they may not because usually speaking, Georgia does not affirmatively send a notice to the state of New York about um, an intermediate refusal suspension. Typically what happens is they will suspend your Georgia driving privileges and also make it known on the national registrar that you have been suspended in Georgia. Now the National Registrar sort of operates as, imagine um, it's, it's in the cloud. Imagine it's in the cloud. And it is a database that holds information from every single state about who is a valid driver and who is not. But that information is not automatically downloaded by the states. And in fact, typically New York would not be aware of the fact that you had been suspended in Georgia unless you do something that triggers them to look up your license in New York. One of the things that you could trigger New York to check the National uh, Registrar to see if there's any holds on your license would be to renew your license. Or if you've moved to a new state and you tried to get uh, and apply for a license, let's say in Massachusetts, uh, Massachusetts would not only want to see your valid New York license, but they would also check with the National Registrar to see if there's any holds. And they would quickly find out that there would be a hold here in Georgia. So you want to be careful, even if you have an out-of-state license and may have dodged a bullet, um, insofar as only your Georgia driving privileges have been suspended and maybe those aren't important to you, maybe you were just visiting and you didn't need to drive in Georgia, you want to be aware that there are consequences that you can face and most states when they are notified um, or they do become aware of a suspension in another state they will honor that suspension so once you let the cat out of the bag it can create a lot of problems um, so keep those in mind and if you're arrested with an out-of-state driver's license make sure you proceed with caution because although in Georgia it's very easy to predict what exactly will happen to your license, if you hold an out-of-state license, sometimes the answers are not going to be as clear-cut as we might hope.